Hi, in this video I'll show you how to perform lookups so we can put data into a pivot table to do some analysis but without using a lookup function or a VLOOKUP or even index match. Now this is going to be using Excel 2016 and the data model in 2016 so you can probably do some interesting things with a lot of the capabilities of the data model here. So let's say for example we have uh, this column table here and we have a PID. This is the PID name but we really wanted to kind of get description that comes off of that and so usually we would have to do a VLOOKUP. Same here if we have this plant ID and we want to get a location the description for the plant ID. If we wanted to do this with lookups uh, it's actually pretty easy but we can just do a VLOOKUP and we're looking up this particular PID. If we're just looking up for the PID, we can look up for this here. And then I'll press F4 to lock in that range here because so when it copies down, it, it won't change that range. It will change, of course, from B2 to B3 to B4, but that range won't change. And the column index number is number two. And I want a exact match, right? And see, we got widget ID, which is PN456, which is this one. If I double click that, that brings it down. And if I wanted to do location, I would do the same thing. If you look up plant ID and select my range here, press F4 to lock that, comma, second column, and also do a exact match. And double click to bring it down. I'm going to add some titles here. A description, I'll just put DSP and location right and then I can select this range go to insert pivot table it selects from A to F and all the way down and my existing worksheet click OK and we have all our information here so I can do date instead of having a PID I want to have my description right widget D widget D location and maybe a quantity right and this is all nice and easy but let's say we don't want to send this kind of data to people and have them like look through the formula for the lookups and maybe mess something up. We just want to kind of send this with just the tables and create our lookups within the pivot table and have it done first. And that's actually not too hard to do. So what I'm going to do is let me remove this table, right click, delete, and I'll remove this, right click, delete. Let's insert some columns, right click, insert, let's select two of these, right click, insert, right? And I gotta turn each of these ranges into a table. So I'll turn that into table, control T to turn that into a table, click OK, and we'll call this table sales. This, the same thing, control T to turn that into a table. My table has headers. That is the first row there, click OK. And let's call this parts and this one is control T to turn that into a table my table is headers and we will call this one plants or just plant All right and now what we want to do is create relationships between these tables so I'll go under data so in data go to relationships and we're going to create a relationship between the sales table and the parts table and also another relationship between the sales table and the plant table. So I'll click new and for our table we're going to get our sales table and the foreign column is just going to be this PID column. That's going to be columns that have uh, non-unique items and then our related table is our parts table. These are going to be parts table and the primary column, this related column, these are always going to be unique, right? There's only going to be one of PN123. You see 123 here, 123 here, 123. So your related table, the primary key or the primary column is always going to have unique. It should have unique um, values. So click on PID. So that one is created. The relationship is created for there. Now I also want to create a relationship between the sales table and the plant table. So I'll go to sales table. And the foreign column is going to be plant ID. And then the related table is going to be my plant table. And the related column is this plant ID, that unique set of values in that column. Click OK. And click Close. 
and this has put it into the data model. So the data model, you can just think of it as another set of worksheets within Excel now. If we want to see how it looks in the data model, you can go into data, click manage data model, and this is what it looks like. It looks like just another worksheet, right? But this is kind of special where now you can you have relationships because if we see our diagram view, let me go in diagram view here, you can see it has connected, made the connections between the sales table and the parts table and the sales table and the plant table. Let's move this up a little bit. So you can see we have the a relationship here, right? We have a relationship between the plant ID and we have a relationship here between this let me click on here and this is our PID ID, right? Our PID relationship with the sales and parts. Let's close this. So now we can go ahead and create our pivot table and it's going to recognize this and create those relationships, sort of those lookups now. If I go into insert and then under insert we got pivot table here, click on that. I'm going to select existing worksheet. Let's just put it down here. Click OK. And what we want to do is we want to use the workbooks data model, right? We don't want we don't need to select a range here. So I'm going to select use the workbooks data model, click OK. And now we can see that it's a little bit different. We have our three tables that are showing up here. If I have my sales data, I can just put let me put my date here and then put my quantity here. And we still have our PIDs here, right? But let's say we don't want those PID numbers. Those aren't really descriptive. Let's take it out. We want the descriptions from the parts table and we put it down here and we've got our descriptions here if we want our plants we don't want the plant ID it shows up here and it also shows up in the sales table but that's really not descriptive we have our location here where we can put and it's a little bit more descriptive let's put it in the columns area and we have that information available to us all that without doing any kind of lookup functions like VLOOKUP, LOOKUP or index and match. So it's kind of nice that way where you can create relationships within Excel using the data model without writing any type of functions. So that's how we can use relationships to help us uh, do in a way lookups without writing any lookup functions. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.